a lot of these these kind of frictiony moments of having a VoIP phone system are really helped um, by by us having good relationships with IT partners. Because mm-hmm. one of the biggest concerns that I get a lot of times in sales meetings is this idea of call quality, especially if somebody came from mm-hmm. a VoIP system from a larger company mm-hmm. and they're they're transitioning to us. They're like, well, we had it before and we switched off because the call quality was garbage. Mm-hmm. Well. We do things a little bit differently here at Uplink. Can you talk a little bit about that? Like, how do we address that call quality issue? How do we build those relationships with IT partners to help alleviate some of that? Yeah, well, we just had lunch with a, an MSP, mm-hmm. a managed service provider, uh, just earlier today. And we were talking about how even five years ago, let alone 10, 15 years ago when VoIP came onto the scene, even five years ago, managed service providers and VoIP companies didn't do a whole lot right. at managing QoS or quality of service. Um, and that's not true anymore. Uh, at least it's not true for Uplink. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, the problem with these resellers or, you know, somebody who's just uh, coming in, you know, maybe maybe their offices are in Denver and they're selling phones in Lafayette, Indiana. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to come in and they're probably not going to team up with the managed service provider. They're right. probably not going to see what kind of QoS is going on in the routers. They're right, probably right. not going to groom the network and make sure that everything is is groovy for voice. Because just like everything else, technology is complicated nowadays. Right. It's, it's not a matter anymore of getting a Linksys router from Best Buy and plug it into your internet connection and everything's fine. Right, we right. depend on our internet connection so much and we right. use them for so many things. We have to tweak things so that voice works well in those environments. Mm -hmm. And like I said, even five years ago, our industry wasn't doing a lot of those things. A lot of the big players in the industry are still not doing those things. Right, right. They have some white papers on their websites or maybe an FAQ that says you need to address quality of service. Right. But they're not going to really help you do it. And that's where working directly with the local MSPs, we have a partnership with almost all of them. Yeah, and uh, we can make the phone call. The customer doesn't have to deal with that stuff. Yeah, and I think one of the things that, that maybe taking a step back too, can you can you kind of elaborate a little bit on on quality of service and, and QoS and some of these things, and um, kind of explain why that's important to the phone yeah. system itself and especially to voice quality. Sure. Yeah. So um, there's a common misconception that internet speed is going to fix all your problems. Uh, and I like to use the analogy of a highway. Mm-hmm. You know, um, we started out with dial-up, which was a gravel road. Uh, <laughs> none of us did voice over dial-up. You can't. Right. You, you couldn't. You couldn't stream YouTube over dial-up. Right. Um, and now we have pretty much. You know. Pretty much all of us have six-lane highways coming into our businesses. Right. Right. And in some cases, we have huge highways coming into our businesses in terms of internet connections that are 50, 100, 500 megabit internet connections. The problem is if the concrete on that highway is bumpy mm-hmm. or if there's no fast lanes where the commuters can get through, right. the same analogy holds true of VoIP. So when we're doing YouTube and we're, we're downloading uh, big Dropbox files, you might use an off-site uh, file management like Dropbox right. or, or one of those. We're doing all this stuff with our internet connection now. And even though we have mega highways of internet coming in and out of our businesses, if you haven't reserved that fast lane for those really time sensitive uh, things like voice, like voice yeah. then you're going to know it because the voice quality is going to, right. is going to suffer. So what we do is we go in and we basically create that commuter lane. We work with the MSPs. Mm -hmm. That's done in the routers at the local business. And we tune those settings so that voice gets top priority. So you can have gridlock over here. But this path over here is always wide open so that your voice just keeps on trucking. Right, right. That is a really simplistic explanation of QoS uh, and, and why we have to manage it. 